Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Desire the Pure Milk of the Word. Beloved family, our text says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength. You have ordained praise because of your enemies that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. Psalms 8, 1 to 9. As King David was pondering on the excellency of God, he starts to question within himself why the Almighty God loved man so much more than all of his other creation. He says, Lord, your name is excellent in all the earth. Your glory is so high, it stretches above the heavens. So when we say glory belongs to God, it truly does. Out of the mouth of babes, you have ordained strength or praise. The word ordained here is the word established as in a foundation. And the word strength in the language of the text is the word majesty or praise. So let's dig a little deeper in this text. When a person is ordained, they are decreed, conferred, or formally established by some authority, as in the ordination of a priest, where holy orders are conferred. But David uses this term to confirm the highest authority in heaven and earth, conferring his strength and authority in babes, suckling, and nursing infants. Why didn't David use the term man instead of babes, as he does in other verses in this text? It's because babes and sucklings desire pure milk as nourishment. They are unable to eat or digest meat, and anything that is fed to babes, they eat. By this I mean they don't get a choice as to what type of milk. Whatever you provide for them, they eat. This is how those who desire the pure word of God should be, like babes and sucklings. Peter understood this, for he said, Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking as newborn babes, desire the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. 1 Peter 2, 1-3 In this text, he contrasts the pure milk of the word to evil speaking, deceit, envy, and hypocrisy. As newborn babes, we don't have time or the stomach for contaminated meat. All we desire is pure milk. The words that are pure, loving, kind, considerate, thoughtful, and uplifting. Not evil speaking, accusatory, or slanderous. Interestingly though, David gives us the reason why we desire the pure milk or truth of God's word. He said that it's because of our enemies that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. Ah, when you receive the milk, the fresh word of truth, the enemy has no footprint. He can bring you rotten meat, mad cow, or E. coli chicken. No, you are to desire the truth. As King Jesus says, you receive the word as a little child, then the kingdom of God belongs to you. The word of God is the armor that protects us against the attacks of the enemy. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Ephesians 6, 11 to 12. Now David is perplexed about the vast and unimaginable love God has for his children. He says, when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him? and the Son of Man that you care or visit him. 
For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. I wanted to repeat that text in your hearing today so you truly understand who you are to God. He has made you a little lower than the angels. In the original text, the word angel is the word Elohim, God the Creator. So it reads, God has made you, sir, ma'am, a little lower than himself. Think about it. What other species on the earth is like man? We wanted to fly like birds, so we created the airplane. And a spacecraft to fly farther than birds can. We wanted to explore the depths of the sea, so we created submarines. There is no animal that can defeat man, as man has created weapons to destroy any creature in the earth. Sadly, this includes himself. We have created modern technology, machinery, and whatever our minds can conceive. Sort of like God, right? In fact, later in Psalm 82, 6, David records these words from God. I said, quote, you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, end quote. Finally, David confirms the sovereignty of God and that he has empowered man whom he loves over all creation. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. Who has dominion? A king. You, my dear family, are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. This is why King Jesus Christ is the King of Kings, because he is your King and my King, and you and I are kings according to the Word of God. We have dominion, or in other words, authority, to co-rule and manage the earth, specifically God's resources in the earth. Beloved family, Desire the pure milk of the word. Heavenly Father, when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Much love.